Hello, my name is Christine Gillum, and today my lesson is about one of my favorite things. You're right, it's the alphabet. The reason why I like the alphabet so much is because I know that knowing the letters of the alphabet and the sounds they make is the most important building block of learning to be a good reader. One of the ways you can learn the alphabet is through alphabet books. I brought several. There's the ABC book by Dr. Seuss. It's full of great pictures and lots of fun rhymes. Here's the underwater alphabet book. And in this book, you can learn a lot about things that are under the sea and letters and their sounds. And the beetle alphabet book. You can learn about insects and beetles and the letter sounds. But today, I've brought a new alphabet book that I just got, and I have really enjoyed it, so I wanna share it with you. You don't need anything but your good listener skills and the desire to become a better reader for this lesson today. This book is by Mike Lester, and it is called A is for Salad. Let's get started. A is for salad. B is for Viking. C is for hot dog. What? There's something wrong with my alphabet book? A isn't for salad? Oh, A is for Apple, you're right. But there is something in the picture on this page that starts with an A. What is eating the salad? That's right, it's an alligator. On this page that says B is for Viking, who is wearing the Viking hat? That's right, it's a beaver. B is for beaver and B is for bed. On this page, C is not for hot dog. It's for the eating the hot dog. That's right, C is for cat. Let's make sure we pay close attention to the picture clues in this book so we can learn the letter sounds. D is for remote control, isn't it? No, D is for, that's right, D is for duck. E is for pajamas, or the elephant wearing the pajamas. Also, E is for egg. F is for soup. Oh no, it's for the frog eating the soup, and F is also for fox. G is for soccer. Everybody knows that's wrong. G is for goat. The goat is playing soccer. H is for pizza, or not. H is for horse, who's eating a pizza. And of course, H is for hat. I is for pancakes. No, I is not for these pancakes. I is for this iguana that is getting ready to eat the pancakes. I is for iguana. J is for hats. Are you sure? You're right, J is not for hats. J is for these underwater animals wearing the hats. J is for jellyfish. J is also for jam. K is for doctor or not. K is for the kangaroo the doctor is in his pouch. K is also for key. 
L is for hair dryer. L is for lion. L is also for ladybug. M is for cowboy boots. Or is it for this animal that some people don't recognize because they don't live around here? M is for moose. M is also for monkey. N is for lunch. No. N is for this animal that someone made up that lives in the ocean and has a horn like a unicorn. It's called a narwhal. So N is for narwhal and N is for number nine. O is for bow ties. See all the bow ties in the picture? What animal is wearing all those bow ties? That's right, it's an ostrich. O is for ostrich and another animal you know, O is for octopus. P is for roller skates. I'm sure of that. Actually, P is for the penguin who's wearing the roller skates. P is also for paints. I can't figure out what Q is for. Can you? It's way down here at the bottom of the picture very small bird called a quail. Queen is for quail. I'm sorry, Q is for quail and it's also for, that's right, I already said Q is for queen. R is for bowling. No, R isn't for bowling. R is for this animal. That's right, this is a rabbit. R is also for ring. S is for tennis or not. S is not for tennis. S is for this snake who is playing tennis. S is also for socks. T is for polka dotted underpants. Of course not. P is not for polka dotted underpants. It's for tiger. T is for tiger and this tiger is wearing polka dotted underpants. T is for tiger. U is for go fish. That's a card game. No, you're right. Go fish doesn't start with U, but unicorn does. U is for unicorn. It's also for umbrella. V is for wiggly worm. No, V is not for wiggly worm. V is for this mother animal and her baby. What animal do you think that is that starts with V? It's a vulture. Sometimes you can see vultures going around in circles, flying in circles in the sky. They're waiting for their dinner on the ground. So next time you see a birds circling in the sky, maybe two or three of them together, you're probably seeing vultures. V is also for vase. W is for birthday cake. But it's not. It's for this animal eating the birthday cake. What kind of animal is that? It's a walrus. It's W is also for wagon. This page says, X and Y 
are not important letters. Never use them. <gasps> what do you mean X and Y are not important letters? Of course they're important letters. If we didn't have the letter X, how could we have the word X-ray? X is for X-ray. If we didn't have the letter Y, how would we have the word yo-yo? Y is for yo-yo. So obviously, X and Y are very important letters and good readers use them every single day. So don't forget about X and Y. I'll bet you know what's next. The author says that Z is for the end. Is Z for the end? Of course not. Z is not for the end. It's the end of this book. But Z is for, that's right, we all know that Z is for zebra. We've done the whole alphabet together. I've had a lot of fun showing you this funny book called A is for Salad. But we know A is for Alligator and A is for Apple. I hope you try to find some alphabet books in your local library, maybe at school, maybe at home you have some alphabet books that you can practice the letters and the sounds that they make at home. Hey, you could even make your own alphabet book. You could get paper and a pencil and some crayons and you could make your own pages with all the letters of the alphabet and all the different pictures that you can think of for each letter. That would be a very fun way to practice the alphabet at home. You can also practice the alphabet by looking for words on magazines and books and food packages on the internet, on signs out on the road and practicing the letter sounds. It was great seeing you again today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Christine Gillum. Remember, practice reading every single day. It was good to see you again, but it's time to say so long.